Hi, my name's Sue Ellum and I'm a tarot reader and I have been for 25 years and I'm using the mythic tarot which are based on Greek mythology. And I'm Carrie Bellino, intuitive Reiki master teacher, spiritual life coach, trying to help everybody get through this uh, transition that we are all in together. So today's question, oh, funny enough, how do I find calm? I'm not sure that's grammatically correct. How do I find calmness? I don't know. How do I achieve calmness? Anyway, all okay. about calm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, you know, um, I'm, I'm fortunate to have uh, clients. I'm fortunate to be able to um, do this work that I love as my um, full time career. And that is probably one of the prime questions that people come with. Um, they feel restless, they feel anxious, they feel um, the chaos. And, and a lot of them are not living chaotic lives. They're just feeling the energy of the chaos. And, um, which reminds me, I wanted to change my YouTube channel to my going theme, which I uh, created several years ago, which was chaos to calm. And I, I wanted to change my title. So it, it just reminded me because calm is what we are all searching for. We are searching for the way to detach from the energetic chaos and the real chaos, the 3D chaos. And what I'm doing is coaching people on finding their joy. And sometimes the immediate response is, you know, what joy? There's not a lot of joy out there. I can't go on vacation. I can't see my friends. I can't go to my favorite theme park. I can't wherever that's where my joy lies and i'm going to encourage you to dig down deep and find the joy that's in you what do you love to experience what what are you not doing for yourself that you love and that can be you know taking time every day to to read or dance or walk or um or or phone a friend or um I don't know, anything that we need to take time to do. Um, something artistic, something creative. And don't judge it. If you're really bad at it, that's okay. As long as you love it, continue doing it, continue trying it. Um, it's really about disengaging from media, disengaging from others, even if they're, if you love them, that's okay. It's still important to, um, to disengage and okay. I'm also hearing that if you tend to be alone, if you tend to, um, and you enjoy it, stick with it. But if you find yourself in moments of loneliness, that can cause anxiety as well. So it's important at that point then to reach out to someone, um, reach out to a group or reach out to um, a, a close friend or family member just to connect. So it's really a guess about tapping into what your heart is wanting, what your heart wants you to do, what your intuition is calling you to do. Get prepared to do those things. So. For instance, I, I call it creating a toolkit that comes up often as well. If you know that you're going to enjoy an essential oil bath, make sure you have the essential oils. If you know that you're going to carve out time once a week to read a book, make sure you have the book. If you know that you love to walk with um, music, then make the playlist so it's ready to go that when you feel the anxiety or feel the fear or fear, feel the energetic chaos, you've got your toolkit ready to go to go tap in to what you love. And I feel like I talked in a giant circle, but. Well, you know, it. it's true. I mean, before I'm going to take the cards on it, obviously, but um, for me, calm is about trust. Trusting the universe has your back. Trusting that, um, that things are going to work out okay. And, 
so that for me is calm. Is no, I, yeah. I'd like to add something to that, if you don't mind. No. Um, your soul knows where your calm lies. Your soul has t complete vision, circle vision. And your soul knows where your serenity is and where you need to be headed to get to that serenity. So trusting, when, when Sue says trust the universe, that triggers for me is, is, is the universe is your soul. Trust your soul. It is never going to lead you down a dark alley. It's never going to lead you into chaos. So trust that what you hear and feel is, is right for you. Yeah. Okay, we've got here the seven of pentacles. Yeah. This is, this is about, um, about finding calm. It's being prepared to make changes, being prepared to move yourself from a situation which isn't calm, which is chaotic, uh, move yourself away from people. And some, I have to disagree in one specific, I don't think everybody does want calm. I do think that there are an element of people that love chaos. Oh, that for is, sure. That is how they feel alive. So it's identifying if you've got any of those kind of people in your life, the people that are going to create drama out of a jam sandwich. You know, you just, they just, that is how they, they operate. And if rather than people who are just, dramatic in a moment of crisis and then it goes away. Um, try and move away from the people that love drama because you'll, ne yeah, you'll never be calm around those people. So even if situation feels comfortable because, I mean, we just, we, was it yesterday, day before we did one about uh, change, um, it's making changes. Is like, okay, things aren't bad where I am, but I know, you know, that I can do better somewhere else. So by physically moving yourself from a chaotic situation and into a place where you can be calm, um, you can be around people that are calm, um, or you can find a place just to be by yourself for a while. Um, I know a friend of mine has been to, oh, I can't remember, but it's where they're not, you're not allowed to talk for, for days on end. Um, it's and, a kind of retreat. Or, yeah, it's like a, like a retreat. And so it, you have to vow con silence for a week or 10 days or something like that. Sometimes that might work for people, you know, just to have, have silence. But have have knowing there's other people around, but nobody's talking, nobody's got, nobody's giving an opinion, um, things like that. So I don't know why that popped into my head, but it just did. But it's making a choice to come away from chaotic situations. And the Queen of Swords here saying, only accept the best for yourself and the people you care about. Don't take second best. So many people feel that they can't get the best, that the bet because they haven't in the past, um, it can come from a, I don't deserve the best, um, I haven't worked hard enough for the best. It can come from internal blockages. But if you can set your sights to the top of rung of the ladder, not just the, the bottom couple of rungs, and know that you do deserve the best and to to go after that you do it you do deserve peace and quiet peace of mind you deserve calm um because that's how we re-energize that's how we're able to cope with the world around us is by being peaceful inside you know it you know it it's, it's the difference about having a full night's sleep and only catching an hour. You know, I know if I don't have a decent night's sleep, it's like 
mountain molehills become mountains and it's really difficult to function when you're you're sleep deprived and not not being calm quite often you are sleep deprived so you can't function at your best so therefore accept the best for yourself and the things that are creating a lack of calm in your life they're all transitory and you can make a choice of walking away from them um, there's always an option uh, my main thing is about telling people they have a choice nobody is stuck in a situation that they can't change um, one way or another uh, it, it is possible for change and you can do that by creating the world you want to live in in your mind manifesting it um, living it there's a story I heard some years ago and it was um, a man who was in a concentration camp um, and they got treated badly as you can imagine and they used to have to go out to work during the day and they didn't get fed enough and a lot of people died you know um, anyway he he had seen films he was quite an educated man he'd read books and seen films and things and he kept in his mind about walking down Wilshire Boulevard in the States um, with his girlfriend and he kept seeing himself walking down that street because he'd seen films about it looking in the shops and things so that became his reality rather than the life he was living and one day the guards were counting out the um all the, the prisoners to go out to work detail and the guards got interrupted and counted one less and this man hid and so he wasn't missed and he when everybody gone off to work he escaped and he managed to get to Austria um, and he met an American couple and he told them his story they took him to the America and one day <laughs> he walked down Wiltshire Boulevard with his girlfriend <laughs> I just love stories like that. You have to forgive me. I get so emotional sometimes. It just catches me. But he does. But that is what you can create. We create our own reality. So we don't have to stay in situations of trauma. Um, we can create our way out of it. And not everybody, you know, believes that. But And that is why they don't do it. But people bring so much chaos into their life because they believe in chaos. When, or you, if you flip the flitch, flip the flitch, flip the switch. <laughs> um, if you flip the switch, then you can believe the opposite and you will attract that opposite. And this man became free. And he and his girlfriend became his wife and they walked down Wilshire Boulevard because that had become his reality. Right. And, and that's a true story. Mm -hmm. I can't remember where I read it. It was years ago. And I'm sure other people listening will know that story. But that is, it's funny, you know, the sad things don't make me cry, but the happy things, it always catches me. <laughs> Oh, See, that's, that's, that's where exhausting. your vibration is. That's where your vibration is. Yeah. And so I get caught every now and again. So you'll probably see more of it over the course of this, these, these questions. But um, only expect the best for yourself because that is what you can achieve. Um, and here we have the page of ones. And this is restlessness. You know you can do more with your life, you know, and and so just be prepared to move away you can't maybe not do it all at once and you you but once a fire is lit and you try a kind of small ways of finding calm if you live a chaotic life just take half an hour and be completely calm um or just find a place of silence or just 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 so you can experience some rejuvenation 
you know, or go for a walk, do a walking meditation or, or something. And then gradually you can build that up. Because if you're living in a chaotic house, then people around you, um, they'll have to get used to the fact that you're disappearing off for half an hour every now and again. So it takes time because this is a page. It's the beginning of, of setting up a routine, of setting up me time, um, time when you can shut the world out and just be calm within yourself. Shut off all your things going on your head. Like I've got to go and buy Johnny some new shoes, and I've got you know, what I've got what I've got to get for dinner for tonight. Shut all that off, just for a few minutes, and get this feeling of calm. Because once you you've shut all that off, then it becomes addictive. So I want to feel like this more often, and then you can build on that. And with the Ace of Swords. Start to, you start to think in new ways and you can build, you can restructure your life in a way around um, needing some space, needing some time to feel this sense of peace. Um, and there could be, again, if you're living in a house with people or you've got a community which are quite um, invasive um, and, and don't blame anybody for that because we, we we allow it to happen, you know. If people know they can turn up at your house and and just ring the bell and come in, if because you've always let them, that's that's not down to them. It's just the barriers, the, the boundaries you haven't set your boundaries. Um, the reason I'm talking about this, people getting in the way. This card is about needing to get people on side. Um, and because people won't want you to change. It doesn't always fit in their agenda. They like to have you maybe at the drop of a hat. You know, they can call on you whenever they want uh, because you've always allowed that to happen. So just, you know, tell people you just need some space. You, you, you know, tell them you've got a headache. Do, do whatever you need to do to say, look, I need some of my own space. Um, so people will support you in it. They know that between 5 and 5.30, you're not available or something like that. Just set, get them on side and then it will, you can get more ideas and you'll become stronger within yourself because you'll have given yourself the time to listen to what your inner voice is telling you, listen to what your intuition is telling you. And that will start you on a path of finding more calm um, or finding quicker solutions to the things you thought were problems, all that sort of thing, which again creates more, more calm. You could even down to finding a, a new way of a new route for shopping, which means that it cuts a quarter of an hour off your time, which you wouldn't have thought about if because you were always in a panic and you always kind of dotting from all over the place. It, following your intuition means that you can get more done in less time. And that again, gives you more time to have some peace and quiet in your life. So those are the cards. Thank you very much. My pleasure. As always like share and subscribe. And it's bye from me. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow.